How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and the question today is should you use electrical tape wrapping the receptacle before putting it back within the box? It's a good question and it's actually something that's been commented hundreds of times on my different electrical videos. So I was curious. I put a survey out there and I want to review the results of you across 1400 people that voted. So we'll review those results I'll show you an example of wrapping because there's actually something that I see a lot of people do wrong. So we'll just do a quick demo of wrapping. And this is an instance actually right behind me when I do use electrical tape to wrap a receptacle personally. And then finally, we'll touch on wire nuts. Also a comment many people say about wire nuts, but there is something you need to look out for if you're using electrical tape on wire nuts. Let's look at the results. If you jump on my channel page, there's a tab called the community tab. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see just posts that I have put out there, whether it's just pictures, an other survey. So I have a wire nut survey currently out there with over 4,000 votes coming in. So that'll be a topic of a future video, super interesting stuff. And then we get down to the results from the great tape debate is what I called it. And so the question was, do you wrap outlets or receptacles with electrical tape when wiring, curious to get your feedback. Here are the results across those 1400 different voters and basically what this is telling us because the options were yes, no, or only when in metal boxes. So 33 or one third of the voters say yes. I, I use electrical tape for all or at least most receptacles I install. Then if we add metal boxes, so if you're working with metal electrical boxes, you actually would need to add the 17%. That shifts to 50-50, about half and half across all the voters in terms of wrapping receptacles with electrical tape. Now, personally, this one behind me is a GFCI receptacle that I am installing to replace an old two-prong receptacle because this does not have an equipment ground, does not have a ground wire coming to the box. Now in this case, this is a tight electrical box and the GFCIs, as you know, are quite a bit larger. So in that case, I am going to wrap two wraps of electrical tape around this receptacle. What kind of tape do you use? I mean, I use the 3M Super 33 Plus. 3M back in January 1946 got the patent for vinyl electrical tape. Remember, back in the 40s and even in the 50s in some areas, knob and tube wiring was still the way to wire up a house. So you were splicing and soldering wires together and then you needed to insulate that splice. Before electrical tape, it was kind of a tar-coated cotton wrap super messy, deteriorated over time, and it had some sulfur in it, which actually could lead to some corrosion of parts around it. So when 3M came up with electrical tape, it was a massive step forward. It originally was just Super 33. Now, if you go out to any home improvement store now, you're gonna see a bunch of different varieties, but the Super 33 Plus, I mean, it's gonna fit most your needs. So I go with 3M, there's many other uh, varieties on the market. You're gonna pay a little bit more probably for 3M than some of the knockoffs, but you get what you pay for. And the person jumping in and working on that receptacle 10 years down the line is gonna thank you for it. I'm gonna wrap this receptacle so I can install it and then point out one thing I do see people uh, do wrong, which is not recommended by 3M. So as expected, wrapping is easy enough, but I do start on the top and I do not stretch the tape yet. So without the tape stretched, I just start that wrap. Kind of have to go around your mounting screws. So I do stretch the tape, which is recommended while installing electrical tape. So you pull it out, small stretch. I know in the comments that I'm not a pro here, right? It's taken me way too long. Now, one thing I do see done incorrectly is I wanna finish it off. A lot of people just pull that, snap it, and then apply that end to the receptacle or whatever you're taping. But that is actually not recommended. So I just use my micro side cutters here, and I'll cut that off because your end, you do not actually want to apply any tension to, you don't wanna stretch it. So you just wanna lay it back down on the layers below it 
and then that's going to make for a better, more secure end here where it's not stretched out and it might start to peel off over time. So easy as that. And then this is an actual instance where I will install that just because you can see how tight this GFCI is to a metal box. So I do like to cover that up. So I would be on the 50% of people that use it within the metal electrical boxes. So lastly, we'll talk about wire nuts and using electrical tape at the bottom of the wire nut. Why I do not do this, and I do not recommend doing this, is because the electrical tape is meant to be just an insulator. It is not meant to hold the wires together. Now you don't have to be doing any electrical work very long before you know a common failure is an improperly installed wire nut where one or more of the wires is not securely fastened and it's causing an issue, it could cause heat and arcing over time. Now this can give you a false sense of security. You can do your pull test and everything seems like it's secure, but that is actually not the wire nut that is securing it, which is what you want to happen. The electrical tape is actually securing those wires together. In this instance, everything seemed to be secure, but as soon as you take off the electrical tape, then you can see basically one of those wires is just sitting in there. This is not uncommon. In the use of electrical tape on wire nuts, uh, again, it's just supposed to be an insulator. It's not supposed to securely hold those in. So I just think it can cause more issues if you're using it on wire nuts. So that's it. Just wanted to give you guys that feedback because I thought it was really interesting results coming in from that poll we put out. If you want to vote on the wire nut poll and what kind of wire nuts you use, go on our channel page and then the community tab and you'll see those polls in there. As always, let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments and give, give your two cents, give your experience. In my region, it's, I'd even say it's less than 50%. And then before you take off, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we have multiple videos coming out per week to help you guys with repairs and improvements around the house. And we'll catch you on the next one.